My name is Eleni Palas, and this is a vlog about human-centric leading, what it is and how to use it. In this first video, we'll talk about what it is. It's three different things in one. First, it's an antidote to the leadership and team problems we see recurring in organizations today. Number two, it's a mindset. It's a way of being that puts people at the center of decisions. So it uproots an existing inherited mindset that people are doers and thinkers and consumers and replaces it with, with what's really accurate about us, that we're whole beings, we have our good, we have our bad, we have emotional needs, and we have unlimited potential. This is all based on our inherent value. So we have nothing to prove, even if we might have to prove ideas or good reasons to get funding at work. We have to prove things we do, but we don't have to prove our value as humans. So it frees us. Number three, it's a set of tools. So there are certain tools within human-centric leading that we'll discuss in, in one in each blog that help us stay in our highest mindset so that we feel resourceful, we are confident, we are trusting of ourselves and how we can handle challenges in face of uncertainty and difficulties. So this tool, this mindset, this antidote called human-centric leading is going to unravel a lot of the challenges we face in ourselves, between others, and at work. Because if we think about the challenges we face and we go back and say, okay, what, why is that happening? What's at the root? What's at the root? What's at the root? The more we do that, we see the root is a specific way of thinking about humans. And so when we start to think or we inherit the way of thinking that people are replaceable cogs in a wheel, we do all kinds of nasty things like lay them off or, you know, create layoffs at the end of the year to make the stock price go up or hire people and then think that nothing will happen between, you know, laying off and hiring. We treat people with disrespect. We do all kinds of things in organizations, whether we realize it or not. And that's the interesting part. part. And that's why this is a challenge, because some of us don't believe we are doing certain things. But human-centric leading is a way to reset, to get back to our humanity, to reclaim our humanity in ourselves and in the workplace, so that we really tap into our collaboration and our innovation to face the complex challenges of our times.